Welcome dear children to e-learning classes. Today we shall continue with our chapter number 11, Area and its Boundary. I hope dear children you are doing your sums regularly. Now, sum number 11. Mahesh Bhai decided to fit square tiles on the floor of kitchen, each measuring 10 cm of length. If the length of the kitchen is 150 cm and its breadth is 100 cm, then how many tiles would be needed? So here the kitchen is length is 150 cm and breadth is 100 cm. So Mahesh Bhai wants to fit square tiles in his kitchen. So first we will take out the area of the kitchen. So the length of the kitchen is 150 centimeter and the breadth of the kitchen is 100 centimeter. So what is the area of the kitchen? It is L into B. So multiplying 150 by 100, we get 15,000 square centimeter. So the area of kitchen is 15,000 square centimeter. We will take out the area of the tile. The length is 10 centimeter and the area of square tile is L into L. That is 10 into 10 we get 100 square centimeter. So what is the number of tiles required? It is the area of kitchen divided by area of one square tile. So the area of kitchen is 15,000 and the area of one tile is 100 square centimeter. Now we will divide it to zeros. We will cut from top and bottom. So the answer is 150. So we'll write 150 tiles are needed. Question number two. The length of fencing around a square garden is 24 meter. What is the length of one side of the garden? So here it is written fencing around the square garden is 24 meters. Means perimeter is equal to 24 meters. Now we will write the answer. We will do the sum. Perimeter of square garden is equal to 24 meter that is given in the text. Now perimeter of square garden the formula for which is 4 multiplied by L. So we will write 4 into L. So what is perimeter? It is 24. So 24 is equal to 4 into L. So we will divide 24 by 4 we get the length of the garden. So we will divide 24 by 4, we get the answer 6 meters. So we will write, therefore, the length of one side of the garden is 6 meters. Now next, a rectangle is made from a 20 centimeter long thin wire. If the breadth of the rectangle is 3 centimeter, then what is the length of that rectangle? Here it is given that the rectangle is made up of 20 centimeter long thin wire. And the breadth is 3 cm. So the perimeter of the rectangle is 20 cm. That is given. And the breadth of the rectangle is 3 cm. That is also given in the question. Now what is the perimeter of rectangle? That is 2 into L plus B. So 20 is equal to 2 into L plus B. Now putting the value in the formula, we get 20 is equal to 2 into L plus 3. Now 3 is the breadth. So we will write L plus 3. Now we will remove 2 from here and we will divide 20 by 2. We get the answer L plus 3. 20 divided by 2, we get 10. 10 is equal to L plus 3. Now we will remove 3 from here and we will minus it from 10. We get L is equal to 7 cm. Therefore, length of the rectangle is 7 cm. Question number 4. If the perimeter of a square carom board is 200 cm, then what is the area of that carom board? Now it is given that the perimeter of square carom board is 200 cm. So first we will take out the perimeter. Perimeter of square carom board is 200 centimeter that is given in the question. So we will write the formula of perimeter. So perimeter of square carom board is equal to 4 multiplied by L. So first we will write that the perimeter of square carom board is 4 into L. Now putting the values in it 200 is equal to 4 multiplied by L. Now length will be 
4 into L, so we will divide 200 by 4. So we will get the length, length is 50 centimeter. Now length of the square carom board is 50 centimeter. And what is the area of the square carom board? It is L into L. So 50 into 50, we get 2500 square centimeter. So area of carom board is 2500 square centimeter. With this, children, omit question number 12. Thank you for watching the video.